Welcome to Daily Wellness. I'm Emily and I hope you are well. I'm gonna get comfortable here on the ground. I'm already wearing comfortable clothes. And I'm gonna bend my right foot so that or my, my right leg so my right foot is on my left inner thigh. I'm flexing my left foot. I'm gonna hook my left thumb between my my two first toes here and inhale <laughs> to lengthen. I am going to then uh, reach my right hand out and just breathe here, extending in all directions, extending through right fingertips, through crown of head, through left fingertips, through left toes. You can gaze that right thumb, really plugging in right shoulder. Maybe closing my eyes, maybe making neck neutral. All options to experiment and observe. And I'm going to inhale my right fingertips up and exhale. Come to frame my head as I point the top of my head towards my left foot. Inhaling up again, I'm now going to do the same on the opposite side, so I'm going to bring my left sole to my inner right thigh, flex my right foot, hook right thumb in between my yogi toes here, and then I'm going to extend left arm out, fingers active, and I'm going to gaze at my left thumb. Really staying engaged through fingers and toes. Breathing here, feeling the shape that my body's in and the repercussions of that shape. And I'm going to inhale, left fingertips up, and exhale. Bring my neck neutral so that top of right head, or top of my head, is pointing towards my right foot, and my arms frame my head, and my heart is spiraling upward. Just gonna take a breath here and release. I'm gonna come onto hands and knees and just do a couple cat cow, tucking my toes, dropping my belly, gazing forward, feeling cowish, and then pressing the earth away from me as I arch my spine towards the sky, pressing palms and tops of feet and knees into the mat. Once again, dropping belly, gazing forward. Maybe gently swaying side to side, front to back, making a little circle in one direction, circle in another. And once again, pressing the earth away from me as I arch my back and point the top of my head towards the ground. Then I'm going to tuck my toes and reach my hips high and heels low. Coming into downward dog or inverted knee pose. Really pressing all my palm and all my fingers into the earth. And if my feet reach the ground, great. And if they don't, that's great too. And then inhaling right foot up. Exhale, I'm gonna step it through between my hands and keeping all 10 toes pointed forward. I'm gonna keep left palm on the earth as I rotate to the right so that my heart is facing rightward and upward and my right fingertips are reaching for the sky. Shoulders working towards one long line of energy and right knee working towards 90 degrees. Just gonna take a few breaths here. Neck can be neutral. And as I breathe, I feel my belly expand and massage my thighs. One more inhale to reach and expand and exhale, wheel right arm down, step right foot back to meet left foot and come into a strong plank pose. Keeping one long line of energy, not sinking anywhere. 
then I'm gonna hug my elbows in and slowly lower down halfway and press back up and lower down maybe a little more than halfway and press back up and then slowly lower down all the way as I exhale and inhale up to a baby cobra and just kind of levitate here over here massaging my belly and my hips and my thighs into the earth and as I exhale I'm gonna reach my hips high heels low coming into down dog again and rest here As I breathe, I can feel the space between the crown of my head and my tailbone lengthen. Then I'm going to inhale, left leg up. Exhale, step left foot between my hands. Keep all ten toes pointing forward. Right palm remains on the ground as left knee generously bends. As I reach my left hand up to the sky and heart spirals open. Neck can be neutral, or I can do that right at left hand, whatever feels best right now. I'm just noticing the sound of my own breath, noticing the energy of the pose and relaxing any tight spaces that I notice. One more breath to reach. And then cartwheel, left palm down to meet the right, coming into plank, coming down into forearm plank, one arm at a time. And maybe pressing back up into full plank, just for fun, just to see what it's like. And then gently stepping back down to forearm plank and lowering down into sphinx pose so that lower belly and tops of feet are resting on the earth. Just taking a moment to enjoy the present, enjoy my breath, enjoy what I hear and see and feel, what I smell. What I taste and then pressing dragging um, palms back so that they're under my shoulders and press the earth away from me as I come into downward dog reaching heels low hips high feet as wide as the hips hands as wide as the shoulders more or less it's a practice not a perfect and then I'm going to inhale right foot up again. Really opening up right hip. Maybe glance at right foot in the space between my left leg and left arm. One more inhale to really reach that right leg up. And exhale, step it through between my hands as I um, rotate left foot down. So my left foot is at a comfortable angle and my legs are hip with distance. I'm standing on railroad tracks instead of a tight rope. I'm going to make a generous bend in that front knee and my right knee. I'm going to bring right elbow to just above my right knee, right palm facing up. Make any adjustments I need to as I rotate my heart forward or rightward and then extend left fingertips forward so that my left hand's parallel with the earth and I feel one long of energy from right pinky toe to right, I'm sorry, left pinky toe to left pinky. No distractions around here at all. And option here, we can either stay here or bring right hand up so that palms are parallel with each other. I'm creating space 
between my arms for my head. Shoulders roll down the back. One more breath here. And then bring both palms to the earth. Swing left or right leg up. And then float right foot back down to the earth. We pause here. Taking a breath in and a breath out. And I'm going to inhale, left leg up. Really open up left hip. Really move left toes, left ankle. Maybe glance at that foot between right arm and right leg. One more breath to really reach through left foot and then exhale, bring left foot between my hands as my right foot rotates down. Generous bend in left knee as left elbow comes to rest over it, left palm facing up. I'm just gonna take a moment to check in here. Rotate my heart open as I extend right fingertips so that my right hand is parallel with the ground. Sometimes the world can seem chaotic around us. And yoga is great practice to be mindful of our body and our reaction to that busy world and And then the more I find, at least, the more I practice on the mat, the easier it is off the mat to notice my reaction to stress and to deal with it and to remember to breathe and remember to relax my body. And on that note, I'm going to lift left arm up parallel with right, really shining heart upward, upward and outward. One more breath here, and then exhale. Press both palms into the earth. Step left foot back and up. And then gently float it down. Come to rest. Rest in down dog. One big breath here, and then I'm gonna walk my feet up to my hands. On the inhale, and as I exhale, really let everything go. And then keeping my knees bent, I'm gonna slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. Shoulders roll down the back, head floats up last as palms shine forward. And I feel really rooted here. Notice how my body feels different now than the beginning of this special time. I'm bringing palms to heart center. I wish you lots of wellness. And as I heard today from a dear one, everybody has stressful times, but everybody needs non-stressful times sometimes. And on that note, I'm going to inhale both arms up, raise between my hands, and exhale. Swan dive forward. Inhale up to a flat back. My palms are resting on my shins here. And then exhale. I come to sit in a comfortable seat. And it appears that my cat is also resting. The divine light within me bows to the divine light within all beings. May all beings everywhere be happy, healthy, and free. Namaste.